Hey there guys, I know we've been talking about YouTube a lot lately, but we have never covered the basics of any production process of making a video. So today let's talk about the pre-production process in video creation. But before we do guys, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nolden. welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. As I said a while ago, we will be talking about the pre-production process of any video creating process. This phase of the content creation lets you plan out everything ahead of time before you shoot your videos. So guys, enough of the chit chat, let's get down to the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Number one is assess your equipment. Let's assess first what you have because it will be the standard of your video. If you want to set your standards high, you have to plan it out. You have to get the best equipment as much as possible. Here are the basic things you will need when you are creating a video. Number one is your camera. Your camera is the most essential. You cannot create a video without it. Maybe your phone camera, a DSLR, or a point and shoot camera. You will definitely need a camera. So what's the difference between these kinds of cameras? Your phone camera can be on the go. If you wanna vlog, you can use this as your main camera. There are actually a lot of phone cameras out there that are really good. It's not like those high-end cameras or the DSLR cameras, but it will get the job done. So let's go into the DSLR. These cameras are high-end cameras that the professionals use to make their awesome videos. When you use DSLRs, you will be able to create a more cinematic feel in your videos. Now what about the point and shoot camera? Like your phone camera, it can capture your audio and visuals, but unlike the phone camera, the point and shoot camera has more diverse features where it trumps over the phone camera. To my advice is whatever camera you're into, check out your local stores or online so that you can get the best price and the best equipment as much as possible. Number two is your sound recorders. Sound quality is a must if you want to have the best audio in your videos. A video that does not have good quality audio, chances are people would not want to watch your videos because they won't be able to understand you. A good mic you can buy for your video is a shotgun microphone because it will easily catch your dialogue very clearly. You can go ahead and buy those zoom mics. I would totally would want to have one. <laughs> Number three is the lighting. Another key aspect for your equipment is lighting. Lighting is something you will need to have in order to amplify your videos. Always remember that you will need these kinds of light in your set or in the places that you're going. Key light. You will need a key light where it provides your primary light. And number two is your fill light that balance out the shadows in the background. So let's say now that you have all these things in the bag, let's go ahead and conceptualize your videos so you will know how the video will pace out. The first one you will need to do is construct your story. What is actually your story? What do you want to do inside your videos. In order for you to conceptualize your story, here are a few tips you can try out courtesy of Creator Academy. Number one is brainstorm. Let your imaginations run wild. Make sure you don't overly constrain your ideas. Consider jotting your ideas on a whiteboard, especially if you make videos as a group. Number two is narrow it down. If you have a bunch of ideas, refine your list, add a star next to your favorite idea, then decide which idea or ideas you want to bring out in your videos. Number three is build it out. Once you've settled on a particular concept, Think about the key elements. If it's a vlog, for example, work out the elements of the story you're going to tell. Now that you have your ideas on your video, time to create that script. Your script writing is actually where your lines should be. And also in your script, if you can write down the graphics that you will be needing, you can always write it on the script so that your editor or you will know that a certain graphic will be used in this kind of scenario or if there are any visual cues that you will be adding in. Now that you have idea and your script for your video, you gotta rehearse it first before you start recording. Here are a few options you can do to rehearse. Number one is read through. If you have a script or talking points, you and other people who have dialogue, read through the lines or practice what you're going to say from start to finish. This allows you to listen so you can tweak the lines or delivery to suit your preferences. Number two is walkthroughs. This would focus on more of the technical aspect. For example, if you're shooting on location, you can practice in that environment in order to uncover and fix any logistical challenges. Number three is run through. This is a full rendition of the story with your characters and crew. Let's say your video involves stunts. Rehearsing can help you ensure things will go smoothly during the actual shoot. You are ready, so ready that your fans will see the best performance in the world. But before you get excited and all, let's talk about your look. You will need to build a brand and whatever your brand is, you have to completely convey the message. Here are a few pointers. Number one is backgrounds. Try choosing backgrounds that exemplify the types of videos you're making. For example, if you produce comedy videos, you might use bright colored backgrounds, whereas for more dramatic videos, you may choose a darker or muted palette. 
you can use contrast or texture in the background to make subjects stand out. Try to remove things from the background that are overly distracting. Clothing. Similarly, you can be creative with what you wear, as it says a lot about you. To save money, many creators who need vintage clothing look in thrift stores or classified ads. Accessories such as hats, jewelry, or handbags often can be found online auctions. Number three is your brand. In addition, consider how your look reflects your brand. For example, a gaming channel might have a more casual look while a business channel might be more formal. You may wish to experiment with various elements to find out what works for your personal style. After you have everything in the bag guys, you are ready to create your video. So go ahead guys, create your videos. And that's the episode guys, do you have other tips for us during the pre-production phase? Let us know down below. Also, share this to a friend who doesn't know how to plan out their videos so that you can help them out in the future. Before you leave guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold Guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom. Quick tips, I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!